So, you got it out of him? Mount Baronroth. Then off we go. short end of the stick. Gavin, please, not another word. Shouldn't we discuss it? The fact that you were wrong? Maybe I should assume leadership from time to time. And I say it with no ill will against you, my friend. I still enjoy working with you, make no mistake. But your anger is a bad counselor. Oh, I'm so disheartened, Gavin. I can't even respond to that condescending statement. Well, at least you don't even drink. And you look like a man who needs twice his usual dose. People are coming. I don't want to talk to anyone right now. Those guys! How far is his wards? Just how many of you are there? What are you doing here? Where's Alfarius? Hey, before you get too worked up, we didn't beat him very much, we just... Who paid you to do this to him? Non-disclosure agreement. We can't reveal the name of our client. Are we that foolish, Gavin? Really? After what just happened, that man doesn't deserve your loyalty. Tell us where he is. The worthiness of our client is of no consequence. It's principle, Derek. And this is what I get for teaming up with an ex-monk. I suppose this means we'll have to beat the answer out of you. Don't underestimate us, Grumps. And I'm supposed to be the short tip. Gavin, I'm taking over as leader. You're demoted. I will commend your soul to the gods. Hmm. 
Please protect the caster. Is Alpharius. Tell me where he is now. Alpharius. We will not reveal. We delivered him to a priest named Vaughn. He's further along the path. How did he? That jerk swindled us. Kick his butt while you're there. Eric, secrecy. Stuff it, Gavin. The man doesn't deserve our loyalty. And there goes our integrity and professional reputation. No time to lose. Let's go. That wasn't very honorable, now was it? We're mercenaries, Gavin. We do this for money, not honor. Besides, if those guys are going to free Alpharius, we can capture him again later and negotiate a better deal. Very crafty, Derek. Do you see now why I'm better fit for the role of leader, Gavin? enjoying this as much as I thought I would. Maybe it's your old bones, you know? Every time Zaroff punches you, there's this ugly cracking sound, and for some reason it just keeps ringing and ringing in my ears. <sighs> I hope I never get old. <sighs> it took me some time to realize what Celine was doing in Jagholm, why she took so many risks going through the pass of Ophara. She was trying to get to you. And why? Not to drop by and say hello, of course. We both know that Celine, for all her grand gestures and heartfelt tirades, has the cold heart of a calculating witch. She went to you because you had something she needed. Uh, you know something about a cure to the corrosion, don't you? As I've said, this little rough and tumble isn't bringing me as much joy as I thought it would. So, I've done a bit of soul searching and asked myself, what's missing? Do you know what that is, Alpharius? Selene, in your place. So you see, there's only one thing left for you to decide before you die. 
Would you like me to get my answer through Celine or through you? Either way, you'll die. <laughs> Make no mistake. You know I'm not lying. I'm a paragon of truth. So, my old friend, which will it be? Boss, somebody's coming. Oh, then by the gods, chop him up or throw him off the cliff. Can't you see I'm having a moment here? It's the priestess from Jagholm. The one you called the Mad One. Celine! <sighs> On a silver platter! As if the gods heard my wish! <laughs> Let him go, Vaughn. What? For your head on a pike, my dear. I will. Hey! Or I guess I could settle for something a little less ghoulish. Like... Where can I find a cure for the corrosion? Celine, don't say another word! I'll make the choice easy for you. Either you talk... Or our friend Alpharius here loses his head. Zeroff, on my signal, chop, chop, choppity chop. Vaughn, you will regret this. One. Don't say anything. Sleep. Two. Okay, we're at two and still no answer. Oh, I must say I'm disappointed. He's your master, Celine, Like a father figure. And? It's... I'm the man you want. I'm a survivor of the corrosion. No! Huh? What? You? The vagrant? You can't be serious. You? That's the big secret? The secret cure for the corrosion? <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, no, that's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I suppose I'll have to get the answer the hard way. Zaroff, I changed my mind. Kill them all, except for the Mad One. Make sure she watches while you kill her bodyguards. Let her writhe in the guilt. With pleasure. So, you have a death wish, huh? Tell me about it.
this. some help. Really? Must I do everything? Looks like I'll be the one making you cr- Want me to put a cap in his head? Creeps come at a discount. No need, Fallon. Uh, he's a monster. He'll try to have you expelled and executed, Selene. We can't allow it. No. He won't talk about what happened here. Because it means people finding out I defeated him. Again. Right, Vaughn? <coughs> Wretched! Peasant girl! Leave me alone with him. This isn't working. Seven years of jealousy and hatred. For a knee in the dust. What happened that day was not natural. You cheated! And now you volunteer to find a cure to the corrosion just to compete with me? In the hope of some sort of rematch? Don't flatter yourself! I only volunteered, because I know that only I can save the world! The world? But does the world need the Sanctorium in its current state, Vaughn? Haven't you seen the faces of the people in Jagholm? The fear in their eyes? We could do better. Don't you think? We are the gods chosen! The Sanctorium! Without us! Herion is doomed to fall into the hands of the Archolites! Why do you care about what these people, these peasants, think? They are supposed to serve us! No, Vaughn. It's the other way around. We are supposed to serve them. Help them reach the gods, not use them like a human ladder. Just the same way we're supposed to revere the crystals, not pillage them. I don't understand. You're a fool, but you're not stupid. You must have felt it too. The magic is disappearing. If we don't do something, we'll lose everything. I don't understand a word of what you're saying, mad one! You don't have to hate me. I'm not your enemy. I will kill you. I will kill you! I will kill you! I'll kill you! Once again, you arrive late. Don't push yourself, Alfarius. 
Those guys really did a number on you. The cathedral isn't far from here. You must. Not now, Master. Let's find a place where you can rest first. And everyone, I think we need to talk. It's time you know what's really happening. Let's find a place for Alfarius to rest first. to have this talk much later. But given the latest developments, I think it's time you learned what you're really getting yourselves into. Listen now, my children. As we reveal to you a secret of the utmost importance, perhaps the most important ever bequeathed, the Sanctorium is corrupt. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. Interesting. I'll have you know, this information is of the highest importance. The Sanctorium, the embodiment of the gods on Hyrian, is corrupt! Old news. Yeah, don't take this the wrong way, but everyone knows that already. Except for you and one or two village priests here and there. Everyone either fears or hates the Sanctorium, usually both. But it's not like they have any other choice. Without the Sanctorium to petition the gods, there's no magic. Without the mining of the crystals and blessing of the Sanctorium, no magic. At least they contribute to the war effort. Okay, now that's cleared up. Next step. I'll take it from here, Master. <sighs> the Sanctorium isn't just corrupt. It's completely lost its path. To the point that the gods themselves have turned against it. The gods, huh? And how do you know that? Ten years ago, they asked me, personally, to set things right within the Sanctorium and save the world. Okay, now that... that's new. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding, right? No pupil dilation. She's not lying. What do you mean, the gods asked you? When I was just a little girl, the gods came to me and asked me to save the world from a blight that would consume everything. <laughs> nice! Oh, this is gold! Who would have guessed? The priestess has gone completely nuts! This isn't a joke, it's important! I think what my mistress is saying is that she would have an easier time suspending her disbelief if you could show some proof of your assertions. As it should be. But I won't be the one to convince you. Darian will. What? Why me, Celine? You can ask me a lot of things, but how do you expect me to swallow this whole? How do you expect me to defend you when... when... I don't even believe you myself? I'm not asking anyone to believe me without proof. But you will eventually realize that I'm telling you the truth. <sighs> I suggest we resume this conversation later. The snowstorm seems to have died down. We still have a long way to go to reach the cathedral. What cathedral? The sacred cathedral of Ulacaris. A sacred place that has been lost through the ages. A place of unfathomable power. Finding it will be the crowning achievement in my tortured existence. Darian, try and remember what happened in the Elon Mines that day. That's all I need you to do. Okay, now my interest is piqued. What about the cathedral? And Oberos, how does he fit into all this? And about this lost connection he told you about? All answers in due time. But the wait is killing me! A perfectly nice way to waste bullets. Take this! Oh, God. 
before dawn. Chogon this! I should have started my story from the beginning. Darian, do you remember the time I saved you? Back in the Elon Mines? Uh, again? What is there to say? You used magic to save us all. It caused quite a fuss in the village back then. What happened exactly? We were stuck in a crystal mine with all the other miners when the Gurn swooped in. We were no match. I wanted to play the hero. I only put everyone's lives in danger. All of us thought we would die. Until Celine came and saved us all. She just stormed in, throwing fireball after fireball. She'd never even used magic before, so it came as a shock to everyone. It was a joke for many years in the village that a young girl saved a dozen burly miners. How old did you say she was? Twelve. Her magical powers were the perfect excuse for our mother to send her to a convent. The Sanctorium could never have turned down such a talented sorceress. Everyone in the village just went on and on about how Selene was a god-sent miracle. Oh, I'm sure that finding a tutor to train her in the art of magic is a miracle in itself, especially in a small farming village. Uh, that's the thing. Selene never had a tutor. She learned on her own. <laughs> she learned magic on her own. Oh, please. Wait, really? Yes. But that's impossible. There's no such thing as a natural magic user. Even prodigies undergo extensive training before they can use magic. And I should know, I was one of those prodigies. It would be a lie to say I had no teacher. The voices... taught me how to use magic. The voices? What voices? What are you talking about? Mom and I decided to keep it a secret from everyone. Even from you. She didn't want people thinking I was mad. But... I was... 12 when it first happened. I was working in the orchard when a crystal near me began to glow. Just like that. Something flashed before my eyes and I blacked out. When I came around, the voices were there. Talking. They were kind. They explained to me that I shouldn't be afraid because they had come for a reason. They had a mission for me. They didn't tell me what it was then, but I trusted them fully. I didn't panic. It just felt safe. One step at a time, they told me what to do. The gestures, the breathing, the mental conjuring. Learning to use magic came simply and naturally. It was amazing. I felt guided, strong. All-powerful. And most of all, I felt... Love. Uh. I didn't even have to ask the voices who they were. I knew it was the gods. Selene, I... I swear you'll understand everything. Just give me some time. When Oberos mentioned your lost connection, was he referring to the fact you weren't hearing the voices anymore? Maybe? There's more to the story, but... If yes, then that would mean that Oberos... Is linked to the gods somehow. Yes, that's why I need answers from him. Let's press on. Great things await us. I won't back down!
Choke on this! Before dawn. Let's end this quickly. Didn't you wonder how I knew you were in danger in the mines back home? The voices warned me. And they also warned me that my life would change in the aftermath. So, when Mom sent me to the convent, I didn't fight her. The voices told me it was supposed to be that way. But, they didn't tell me what would happen afterwards. Once I joined the Sanctorium, my magical abilities were noticed quickly. For my tutors, it was inconceivable that a farm girl could learn such complex magic on her own. They kept pressuring me to tell them that someone, a rogue priest, a sorcerer, took me under their wing and taught me. They insinuated many things and hated that I wouldn't confess. As a consequence, I was severely punished. And your ethereal friends, those voices, where were they during all of this? That's when the situation became increasingly difficult. As soon as I left the country, they suddenly fell silent. Uh-huh. It was a terrible time. I was alone, ridiculed for my upbringing, and singled out because of my gifts. Every day I called to them, prayed to them, implored them, and I was caught doing so. The word spread fast. The tutors quickly chalked me up as some kind of crazy genius. The fact that I was talking to myself was proof I was... special. Is this... why Vaughn called you the Mad One? Yes. From then on, I was a misfit. It had some advantages. The tutors stopped mistreating me. Eventually, they lost interest in me. I was left alone for a long time. Until... Until? Oh, until I arrived, of course. <clears throat> a 
special pupil needs a special teacher. Why are you looking at me like that? Weren't you going to continue the story? Reminder, I'm an old man who was tortured to the brink of death moments ago. Do you really think I'm in any shape to walk and talk at the same time? Really, Darian, shouldn't I be the one going senile? You look better already. Oh, thanks. I work out a lot. Anyway, this mountain won't climb itself. A prayer for your wayward soul. It's a good thing I found Celine at the time, else her incredible potential would have been utterly wasted. The brutal interrogation methods used by my ex-colleagues left her in bad shape. She was bitter and doubting herself. Oh now, you say that because I took it all out on you on our first meeting. That was such a long time ago, my dear. Today I can reveal that my humiliating defeat was a simple trust-building exercise. Right. <clears throat> As I was saying, Celine was beginning to think she was actually crazy. But she's not, obviously. Luckily, she happened to meet the only man in the Sanctorium who actually knew that what she was going through was a natural phenomenon, which had already been documented several times in recent millennia. Documented? And by who? The Venatis. The same Venatis who built the cathedral we are seeking right now. And the same Venatis whose automatons now roam free in the countryside. I'm starting to see a trend there. Oh, the Venatis were a fascinating cast of prehistoric Astrians. It was common knowledge at the time that through a rigorous and ascetic life, some people could hear the song of the gods. The sound of their voices. Through the gods' council, they learned to build extraordinary buildings, mastered the now-forgotten art of crystal growth. They could shape crystals to their will. Okay, now I'm thinking you might be crazy too, old man. I'm still running some tests, but this would explain my molecular structure. If this body is of Venati origin, of course. No offense, Thea, but I already chucked you up as crazy a long time ago. If my single good eye wasn't supporting my entire structure right now, I would be rolling it at you. 
So this crystal cathedral, was it built using the same technique? Crystal groom? Yes. It's a place of great power. As I said, Selene lost her ability to hear the voices of the gods during her internment at the convent. Now, following the proper ritual in the Venadi Cathedral, she should be able to hear them again and ask them for guidance. Guidance about the cure, and guidance about Oberos. It was all written on the Alabaster Tablet, remember? The thing we had to dig up with the Nekaru before we met you? Yes. It was a relic I stole from the Sanctorium the day they expelled me. They couldn't read it anyway. They considered Venatis to be nothing more than old world pagans. Just like Carnelians, huh? Soon you'll understand how that could be a problem for me, Isaurus. Mm hmm <sighs> This is a lot of information. I stopped following a long time ago. I'll... summarize it for you at the end. No, it's not too complicated. It's just that I don't care. I hope this new layer of complexity won't deter you from doing your part in the bargain, Fallon. Don't worry, Priestess. The moment you waggled that key in front of my nose, I knew you were bad news. But I find it hard to resist high-risk, high-reward activities. You know what else is too high? These mountains. So let's get climbing. <laughs>